Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I'm talking about Laxidates, rather their third dev blog, where they're going to talk about a combat, their combat system, and a in-depth look into one of the Hunter classes. So it's going to be a long video. Now at the end, they are going to have a full combat video, and I'll go through as they do all the the full list of Hunter classes. So let's just get right into it. Now, first off, uh, actually before I get into it, link in description below for this page. So go check it out if you want to read it yourself. But let me get through. Protein, the jack of all trades. Benefit this class that I can specialize into any other class. That's the main player's class. Beastmaster is pretty much the person who performs some battles with nanims. Uh, engineer specializes in technical abilities as well as tech focused weapons. Necromancer is pretty much the mage. Panzer is the tank class. Phantom is the assassin class. Now, going into combat mechanics, Laxidays will feature real time third person ability based combat. Weapons in this game will each have their own respective abilities, movesets, and can be either ranged or melee. Players will have a basic attack with that charges their ability meter, which is their nanometer, and the player uses these charges to perform various abilities. Now, in tactical mode, what you're going to be able to do is slow down time so you can pick like your ability and then target and then finally use the ability. And in this GIF, it's showing exactly that, so watch it. Oh, see, he stops. It's almost like Red Dead. Stop, stop, and then he switches. New, ta uh, new ability. Bam. So team battles and summons. T uh, the combat system also features team battling and NM summoning. The typical, the, the typical battle that you may encounter involves your hunter and up to two squad mates. On top of that, you're able to summon an NM throughout the battle by using the summoning meter. You'll be able to build your summoning meter in the following ways. Receive damage, dealing damage, and gradually over time, your hunter will be able to summon certain nanims depending on how full the summoning meter is. More powerful nanims require more of the meter. So your squad mates will also be able to summon their nanims. Throughout the battle, you will be able to switch between your various uh, squad mates and nanims. When you control a different character, you'll have access to their full moves, and combat will, uh, will function the same. So we will release more info on team battles and nanim summons in an upcoming death blog. Now, NanoSync. So, the life of a hunter often revolves around fighting dangerous enemies, human and nanim alike. Hunters in Cascadia need to be as prepared as possible, with some hunters going as far as going through a fatal procedure of nanosynchronization. So, the procedure is a series of injections and supercharged nanobots into the bloodstream, which rapidly replicate with results in either death or enhanced physical abilities, including strength, stamina, health, etc. A person who successfully undergoes nanosync develops their own unique ability. Now, the main character, then their nanosync ability is called Blink. It allows the character premise to transport a, a short uh, time away, or not time away, short distance away. And you can see where he's blinking, bam, and you can see here blinking. So that is Blink. Now, the hunter class that they're talking about is Engineer. So in the world of tomorrow, technology reigns supreme. At least that's what every engineer will tell you. The engineer class specializes in all things technology, which allows them greater proficiency with tech based on weapons or tech based weapons and armors. So the R4 BV 1T prototype suit, engineer uh, class hunter suit, excellent in rapid stamina recovery, perfectly suited for those on the move. This suit gives a decent amount of protection for how light it is, and it has resistance to electric and alloy. Ooh, sorry, <clears throat> alloy type attacks. Sorry, yawning. Had to call it off. <laughs> The Nano Crossbow, standard engineer type crossbow that fires supercharged nano bolts and inflicts nano damage. So that's pretty cool. Look at the front and the back. That does look pretty good. So you have one ability, or sorry, your first ability, good one. Nano upgrade. So throws a grenade filled with volatile nanobots, explode upon impact, and deal a moderate amount of nano damage to the target. As we can see, he did 60, and it went down that much. So real-time tactical mode. They're going to be comparing it to. The hunter overloads the self-repairing mechanism of the crossbow to heal themselves, which is on heal. This ability heals a small amount of health over time and removes any st negative status effects. Now, EM Bolt. The hunter fires an electromagnetic magnetic bolt that, deals, uh, that damages and stuns targets on hit. Attack is specifically powerful against robotic enemies and alloy type. Nanims. Can't stop the yawning. So, Droid Assault. The hunter summons a fleet of autonomous battle droids that hone in on the uh, nearest target and release a barrage of nano bolts. After their target is defeated, the droids will continue their assault on the nearest target. After 10 seconds, the droid will return home and leave the battlefield. So, that's interesting. This is the 
a droid assault. Now this is the full video, combat video. Actually, I'm going to watch on YouTube. And that is because it is trash. Oh my god, it's so loud. All right, hopefully that wasn't too loud for you all. Yeah, it's the error occurred. I don't know what's happening to my browser when it comes to that, but... You know, obviously, except for the one the time, it was, you know... There's a lot of moving around. There's a lot of dodging. It definitely seems... Uh, it does not seem like it's slow. That's for sure, you know? I mean, you can't just stand around. And hope and wait. You have to take into consideration how far away am I, you know, how fast is their attack going to get to me. Do I have time to do this attack? I'm sure there's times when it's like, do I have time to do the tactical mode? You know, and imagine, that's only with one enemy. Imagine that with two. Now, of course, you are going to have up to two squad mates, but that does seem pretty complex. It seems like it can be pretty fun. There's a lot there. has a lot of potential. I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, that's all for this video. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad I made this video. I don't know. I just wanted to cover it. That's all there is to it. So, see you in the next video. Retro on.